Hi everyone, Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com coming at you with 2019 Panini Prism Football 12 box full case pick your team number 3 Joe Cavanaugh, thank you Last Spot Mojo Bills and thanks to everybody else who filled up this break really appreciate it and here's the full case right here good luck everyone it's heavy Good luck, everybody. This break will take a little bit of time. It's going to take a little over an hour. Okay, let me type that schedule into the chat so people can kind of plan out their Saturday nights with us. these over here. Slide that back over here. Make myself a little bit of room. All right, good luck, everybody. Pick your team three coming at you. This is going to take a little bit of time. So if you guys have, if you're not in this break, you have something else to do, you know, you've got about an hour and a half and you can check back in. If you want to watch this break and hang out with me, that would be appreciated too. We'll talk a little bit. Of, we'll go through the football games too. See what everyone thinks about those. We'll watch World Series right here together, which is going to be starting in a few minutes, which means I should probably change the channel. All right, there we go. Let's switch channels. So we'll have a lot going on here. Matt Goslin is saying, I'm not into card collecting other than hockey. Do baseball and basketball cards sell well and football? Um, just like with hockey, depends on the player. Depends on the team, depends on the player. But, yes, like, depends on the product, too. But, yeah, but all, it all sells well on the secondary market. I feel like basketball and hockey tends to sell the best. You know, there there are more like monster opportunities, like multi thousand dollar card opportunities, ten thousand dollar card opportunities in uh in hockey and 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 basketball that you don't generally find in the other sports unless it's like graded graded really well. All right. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to breeze through these cards. Veteran commons like James White won't ship, you know, but – and I'll have a recap at the end. Inserts will, of course, ship. Parallels will ship. We're going to set these aside right here. Our shipping team will sleeve and top load those later. All RC cards will, of course, ship. And if there's like – if there was like a refractor, a silver version of that, that will ship too. Of course. John Elway, of course, will ship to 149. All right. Jose was saying, just as we were starting this break, he sees New England blowing out Cleveland. What is that? Like? All right. All right. Let's talk about that. Who does everyone have in that game? New England or Cleveland is at New England. I think that's a Sunday uh, Sunday after it's a Sunday afternoon game, late game. It all depends on where you are in the United States. Late game. What does everyone what who, who does everyone have in that game? There is Calvin Harmon, sensational signatures cracked ice autograph. That goes to Kevin Smith and the Redskins. 
first autograph right there. Actually, these top loaders to this side right over here. So that Joe Montana will ship. Rob Gronkowski to 199. We got Keenan Allen to 249 for the Bolts. And we got Ed Reed to 175. I believe that's Hyper, maybe? Parallel? Now, Cam's saying for sure. Browns ain't going to win in Foxborough. No way. Now, the Browns... Now, New England, yeah, as, as as Jose is saying, New England favored by 11. I think ESPN has them at 10 and a half. I think that number has been hovering between 10 and a half and like 12, 13 in some places. But Demon's got Browns, upset alert. There's this dick right here, 11 out of 25, Dick Buckus. That'll be for the Bears and ultimately it's helping thousands of patients return home. And who doesn't love going home? And nice sensational signature is Daniel Jones. Dan the man. D J Jones. Me and Mr. Jones. New York football giant Sen Yin. Oh, you're welcome, Senyin. Thanks for grabbing the Giants. There's Lamar Miller. It's 99. LJ Collier to 175 for the Seahawks. You got your Pelicans pack? Nice, Marcus. And wow. Woo! Do we even need to do the rest of the boxes? Can we just do those later? Daniel Jones and Kyler Murray in the same GD box. Aaron Pettit with the Arizona Football Cardinals. Wow. Who's having a pretty solid season. Him and Daniel Jones. There are your three autographs right there. All right, next box. Great start. Well, going back to the Patriots. I mean, I th I think the I think the uh, the Browns could certainly surprise the Patriots and cover. Straight up, Oof. that would be a bold. That would be a spicy move. If uh, it would be a very spicy move if you put a small, maybe coffee money on the money line for the Browns. I don't know. I'll have to look at that. Look at the Patriots schedule. Well, Don. I'll tell you what, you know how we're doing. Nick and I are doing that contest. We took Seattle minus six. We got we got the contest line was minus six. We took Seattle. I think I think the Falcons just. 
I just don't. I don't think the Falcons just have have it this season. I think they maybe need a new voice. They've got they've got Julio Jones. They got Matt Ryan. They got pieces, but I think they maybe need a uh, a new voice in that locker room. So, is has he is he declared out officially, Marcus? That's what Don seems to be suggesting. Don says Matty Ice officially out. Yeah, they have a bye next week too. I didn't think they would they would really risk they would really risk uh, playing him. There's no need to not with this lost season to 199. Brian Westbrook. See, he is officially out. Okay. Well, then I feel. Well, did the line move? I'm sure it did. Well, now I feel better about it. Oh, now Seattle's minus eight and a half. All right. No, I think I think it's gonna. I think it's gonna be the Seahawks. Cruising. Now I don't think the Falcons are going to lose the rest of the way, but but I don't think this is the game where they where they turn it. Or maybe after the bye, you know, get rested up. Everyone clears their heads. You know, they they you can come back. Coach could say, "Hey, let's we're on a bye. Forget about what happened previous games. Let's just." New season, we're 0 and 0. You know, let's go get it. That's the message you have to send, though. There's Deontay Johnson. Steelers. That'll be for uh, Michael Gallucci, Steel Curtain, and the Steelers. Who do I think? Now, going back to Jose's question about who I think's going to. Actually, there's Chris Godwin. He's been having a pretty solid season. Uh, straight up beat the Patriots. Do you have a schedule for me? I gotta go through this break. Oh, give me the rest of the schedule, Jose. At Baltimore, by at Philly, home Dallas. There's Foster Moreau to 149 for my Raiders. That goes to EA and the Raiders. Let's find his teammate, EA, the guy that he blocks for sometimes. I think I think a healthy Philadelphia team so they're at Philly I think a healthy Philadelphia team which remains to be seen but I think a healthy Philadelphia team could beat the Patriots there's Jordan Aikens to 199 healthy Dallas team I think could surprise the Patriots but that game, if that game's in Foxborough that's a little rough At a 2.49 key now. There'll be a game they lose, though. There'll be a game that... It's football, you know what I mean? It's hard to go 0-16. It's hard to go 16-0. and There's DeAndre Baker, 48 out of 49. New York football giants. That'll be uh, for Sen Yin. Cam is asking, what about 49ers versus the Panthers? Panthers are in... San Francisco after a bye. There's Brian Burns for the Panthers. That'll be for Brian Langley. Kansas says it'll be week 17 when Pats lose to the Dolphins when they're resting starters. I don't know. That that could be an ugly game. Out of one for Jalen Ferguson. You know, you'll, you'll have Patriots uh, resting players and Dolphins players are probably planning vacations and golf trips, right? So who's going to show up to that game? Out of 175, Shaquille Griffin. Who's showing up to that game? Um... Ooh, at Houston. Patriots at Houston could be a challenge. If Deshaun Watson's just like, you know, that could be like an MVP moment for him. You know how people talk about Heisman moments? An MVP moment for Deshaun Watson would be him 
at home in Houston. You know, torching that that Patriots defense. I can see that. Now Camp says no, no Watson, no win. No, I guess that's a man. Patriots must must be nice facing the Jets and the Dolphins, and even the Bills twice a year. You can't find a place to redeem your points on Panini. The website, Marcus, is on the redemp on, on the uh, points card. I don't think San Francisco goes undefeated, right? Their defense is great, but I th I think there are still some some question marks about the uh, about the Niners' offense. If you kind of look to the next layer of numbers, I actually have for my contest pick. I, I actually took Carolina plus five and a half coming off the bye and going to San Francisco. I think they could win outright. There's Jordan Scarlett to 249. Any guesses on that redemption? Bragging rights? We got Marcus Peters to 99. There's Robert Woods to 175. No way, x line says no way the uh, Niners go undefeated. Out of 199, Travis Kelsey. Yeah, I don't think they go undefeated either. There's Miles Gaskin, sensational signatures for the Dolphins. Yeah, it's an early jump for the Astros on, on the Nationals on Patrick Corbin. Out of 249, TJ Watt. Uh, no, we haven't done any mixers yet. I don't think it's it's sold out at the moment. It's Travion Williams, Hayden Hurst to 49. There's Tiki Barber to 149 for the Giants. There's Rashawn Gary to 175. We got Nick Foles to 249. Oh, you got the fiance dragging you to Halloween. I guess this weekend would be Halloween party weekend, right? There's Damian Harris, sensational signatures for the Pats. Do you guys have uh, cute couples costumes, Evan? Is she Raggedy Ann and you're Raggedy Andy? You're a dish maybe and she's a spoon or something like that? Nice. You guys were Pete Davidson and Ariana Grande last year. You guys are just you're lame this year. That's a good one. All right. The redemption is JJ Arthiga Whiteside. Gold vinyl. That's out of five. That's a train whistle for Ann Dello. Ann. All aboard the Big Hit Express. Woo woo. There you go. Boom.
Evan, you could dra- you could go as as Joe Jaspi and Nick Jaspi, and people at the Halloween party would be like, "Who are these guys? Oh, these, it's a show that I watch on YouTube. They bust open cards and we talk about all sorts of random stuff, and they'll be like, we don't get it. Yeah, it's a good show. It's pretty fun. <laughs> It's like it's like it's like Sports Center, but you can interact with the people there. Uh, I don't really dress up on Halloween. I don't I don't do Halloween, Jose. Sorry. I uh, something that I'm not really into. Dress up as Tim. How would how does Tim Tebow dress? How would I dress up as Tim Tebow? Would I do the Tebow kneel a lot? Yeah, Trey Bush. Halloween's for babies. I'm not a baby. I'm grown up. I'm a big kid now. Yeah. Oh, oh David Montgomery just popped out of there. There's rookie autographs. Yeah, Trey Bush. I'm not a baby. <laughs> I'm a grown up. Probably mark down bears here for uh and, and again. There you go, Ann. A couple of redemptions for you. Yeah, Pug Pug may end up in a some sort of wizard cap or something like that. I don't know, I'm not a I'm not a, a dog dresser upper though. Kurt Warner to 199. I don't know. The people in LA go go pretty bananas with with uh with dressing up their dogs. Not even not even Halloween, just You know how many like boutique shops, dog shops are around pet stores are around here that sell like like Louis Vuitton collars and stuff, dog collars and stuff like that. It's ridiculous. David Long for the Rams. Although a Burberry vest for the pug would be pretty would be pretty sick for the winner. There's Alan Robinson. It's 249. He has fur, he's fine. Uh, and with the Bears. Doesn't get that cold in LA. Oh yeah, Trey, aren't aren't you gonna have a pug in your? Was it you that was gonna have a pug in your life at some point? Mike Williams to one forty nine. Maybe Jaspie's pug size for pet owners out there. Josh Reynolds, sensational signatures. Cam says the only reason why I used to do Halloween was because we used to wear PJs to school. Yeah, it was an excuse to wear pajamas, right? I think the last time I dressed up for school was probably in, there's Josh Reynolds for the Rams, Rick T. Got the David Long as well. Um, maybe in fifth grade? Fourth, third grade? Second grade? I think I was a pumpkin. There's pictures of me somewhere with a stem as a hat. There's Marlon back to 149 in a big pumpkin costume. It was pretty sick. Mid-November. Nice, Trey Bush. We're expecting pictures. There's Miles Sanders. There's What's going to happen to Mariota? Is he still going to be with that logo right there? EA with the Titans. Bryce Love to 249 Redskins. Yeah, 
We got Joe Namath to 90. Oh. Joe Namath coming into focus. Joe Namath to 99. Remember when Joe Namath tried to kiss Susie Colbert on the sidelines? There's Alex Barnes to 175. Mariota to the Dolphins is Cam. Wow, Corbin got out of the inning just giving up two runs. Nice inning ending double play. Mariota to the Dolphins. So what happens to Josh Rosen? I, I kind of feel bad. Mariota to the Bears maybe, says Trey. I feel bad for Josh Rosen. No one wants him. And it's not like he's a bad quarterback. He just hasn't gotten a fair shake. I mean, you can't judge him on a, as a quarterback on a terrible Cardinals team with a terrible coach. You know, they get a new coach, and then he's like, bye bye Josh Rosen. So he's gone. In comes Kyler Murray. Josh Rosen goes to Miami, you know, somewhat unwanted there because they're tanking because they're going to get a quarterback in next year's draft. So he's gone again, you know, but he hasn't gotten a fair shake. Like, what's up, Jordan? What's going on? So, I don't know. But you, you think Mariota, Trey thinks Mariota will end up be like Bridgewater, like a high paid backup. I could see that, and then kind of, kind of get his, get himself into the right, into a right spot, and have a re revival in his career. <laughs> Matt G is saying, if I had this debate with a coworker, Wob, if a football player ends up on free agency, is he still considered a football player, an NFL player? That's 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 a that's a that sounds like a philosophical argument right there, you know what I mean? That's a that's a philosophical argument. What do you think? Out of one forty nine, Joey Bosa. I yes. Is he still part of the NFL Players Association? There's Mark Ingram. Is he still part of the Players Association? I mean, he hasn't retired yet, so I think you would still be considered. There's AJ Brown to 199. That's for EA. So I think if you are not retired, you're probably still under the NFLPA until you say that you're not. I feel like in spirit, he would be a football player. Legally, I think he would still be a football player until he retires. There's Melvin Gordon in 75. There's Raquel Armstead. Jacksonville Jaguars. If a tree falls in a forest, Matt, and there's no one there to hear it, does it make a sound? And that's the first autograph out of the box for Jared Nickter. There's Jameis Winston to 175. Points. We'll randomize that to someone in the break. If there's more than one, um, 
there's more than one point cards, we'll collect them in, as a lot and we'll we'll move them that way. We'll randomize it that way. Winner take all the points. Ed Reed to 249. And Jared Cook to 99. Not Brandon Cooks to 99. Jared Cook to 99. And there's Hunter Renfro. And there's Hunter Renfro. <laughs> Couple hundred Renfro's right there for EA and the Raiders. All right, Cam, ignored. All right, Evan, I'll see you. Have a good time. Ooh, look at this. Jack Doyle, four out of five. Gold vinyl for the Colts. Tony Covert with the Colts. That's a good looking one right there. Jack Doyle's pretty solid. Tony, all aboard the Big Hit Express. Woo woo! Oh, I was looking for the next autograph, then I realized the points replace that autograph. All right, we are halfway through. After this box, we'll be halfway through the break. Oh, I'm going to pause the video really quick. The post office is here. I want to help get your packages sent out. Stand by. All right, welcome back, folks. Um, also, John is saying, I might have passed a black finite, one of one. Do you remember the, do you remember the player? Looks like a Buccaneer. You should be able to. Ha-ha! There it is. Found it. Good eye. Jason Pierre Paul is your one of one. I don't know. Speak up, Tony, whenever you see something like that. Um, David Shaw with the Buccaneers. There you go. Sorry, guys. Been a long week. David Shaw, all aboard the Big Hit Express. <laughs> whoop, whoop. There you go. Here's the rest. How did I miss that? That's definitely like. It's not like it was. It blended in with the other cards. Sorry. Well, it's going to the right place now. Thank God it wasn't a Raider. Otherwise, people would be like, oh, trying to Brandon Cooks to 99 it. I see, Joe. Our reputations would be ruined.
All right, next box. Good luck, everyone. There's Travis Fulham to 199. Saquon Barkley. And Lorenzo Carter to 249. No, I should have got that one though, Tony. A, they're usually in the right in the Usually Tony's just like look when you're looking directly down, maybe the refraction or the No. I should have gotten that. And they're the And the they're usually in the same spot too. There's like a pattern. There's Leighton Van Der Esch. To seventy five. Nice one for the boys. That'll be for Ann. Should have got it. It's Michael Vick to 149. Secretly have a secret JPP PC. It's like, it's like, dang, foiled again. And I would have gotten away with it too if it wasn't for you. Pesky kids to 199. Tevin Coleman. And DeAndre Baker is your autograph. I think my biggest, I'll tell you what, one of the biggest misses that I had. This was back in when Top still, so this would be 2015, I think, that DeAndre Baker goes to San Yin and the Giants. The sorting team, in 2015, we were sorting 2015 Topps Chrome Football. Topps Chrome Football, so that would be Todd Gurley's rookie year, right? And so by the time Topps Chrome Football had dropped, that was probably one of the biggest, there's Brian Erlocker to 240, one of the biggest cards, autographs in the hobby at that point, at that time. Um, it wasn't an autograph, but it was a base one of one. Totally missed it. Our sorting team found it, and we shipped it off to the guy. <laughs> it's like, it's like, I didn't even see. It's like, no, I didn't either. <laughs> LaShawn McCoy to 99. But I think the year they did that, to 175, Danny Amendola, the... How did they design? It was designed really weird. It was, it had these swirls that are associated with superfractors, but it didn't have gold over it. So it would really blend in with like all, all the other cards. It was as if it was just in the background right there, but the same chrome technology there. It was, it was a little odd. It was very hard to spot. Or I think, you know what it was? It was just like in the corners or something like that. The way they designed it, it was only in certain panels. It was weird. Ended up in the right place. The Terry McLaurin, nice, to 249. Keith Smith with that one. There's Rashawn Gary. Rookie autograph. For the Packers, that's going to go to T.J. Leonard. There's Tremaine Edmonds to 75. All right, next box. Good luck, everyone. Oh, what was the what was the intro music? I didn't hear it. 
I guess I just kind of zoned out. No, I don't. Is is Carter Cuban even on the World Series roster? Oh, the Fox original music? I thought they were just recycling like the football music from, uh, they don't have their unique baseball music, right? It's just the same Fox football music? There's a Sean Watson 249. Marlon Humphrey to 75. There's Arden Key to 249. When does this come out? The Irishman. Scorsese, Pesci, De Niro, Pacino. Woo! It's coming soon, apparently. It's just never enough Looks good. If you're, if you're into ma mafia movies, 72 out of 75. Sensational signatures. Who? Austin Hooper. I certainly am. Looking forward to it. There you go. That'll be for Willie Brock and the Falcons. Tony Pollard, 25. Cowboys. Camps to save the save the Minshew rookies. There's Robbie Anderson to 149. Is he the real deal? Gardner Minshew? Yeah, all those rookies will ship, of course. There's Minka Fitzpatrick to 249. Dolphins. Harrison Smith to 99. Dak Prescott to 175. Bryce Love. Autograph for the Redskins. No, they fall about one per box, Steve Olson. They all ship, though. Jalen Ramsey to 199. And Julian Love. Sensational signatures for the New York Football Giants. Senyan and the Giants.
Were we, were we talking about Tebow? I don't think we were debating the merits of Tebow, were we? talking about Josh Rosen though there's Bo Jackson to 199 yeah it is gonna be you're right Jose it's a next Netflix original I think they're putting it out in a few theaters but limited release but yeah I can't wait for it to come out it's Clayton Thorson Apparently they put apparently they put a ton of money into uh, into that picture. It's Greg Zerline to 99. With uh, gotta gotta get Scorsese on board, all those big actors on board. Looks great though. Here's Ryan Finley, rookie autograph for the Bengals, Ricky Buffalo. Are we doing a Chrome update break? Maybe. Nick Chubb, emergent, eight out of ten. Marlon Mack to one seventy-five. Addison says Irishman is three hours and thirty minutes. Jeez. I guess that's, that's what happens when you don't have a major studio saying a movie has to be a certain length so we can get into as many screenings as possible. They're sensational signatures. We can see the return of the four-hour epic someday, Addison, with, with the streaming services. Aaron Pettit with the Cardinals, Deontay Thompson. Darnell Savage Jr. to 199. I forget what the what the time is, but there is like a sweet spot for most movies where you don't want it to be too long because you then it can't play as many times in a theater. You can't sell as many tickets. It's James Washington to 249. There's Michael Gallup to 49. Behind Russell Wilson is Devin White. Sensational signatures. Buccaneers, that'll be for David Shaw. 20 out of 25. There's Kenny G to 149. All right, see you, Cam. I'm not, but Jaspies is. We're still alive on uh, Sundays and Mondays. Out of 175, Mike Williams. What's up, Doug? Coincidence, you always, almost always have a hit in the last card. Rod Dallin using H. Thankfully, thankfully they, don't, they don't test for performance-enhancing drugs in the case-breaking industry. Box.
Um, we were talking, some of you may know that I'm in the Circa contest with my colleague Nick Jaspi. We split the entry fee. So we, we got, um, we took Seattle minus six and a half, Chicago minus four, Indianapolis minus five and a half, Carolina plus five and a half, Kansas City at home plus three and a half. So we we won four and a half games last week. We pushed one game, but we won four, pushed one. So we went from like 500th place, 500th place, all the way up to uh, 190th or something like that. I'm gonna finish in the top 10 to cash. The mission continues. Nice, Mark Madsen. Is tonight the night? That would make it a good Saturday night, that's for sure. Hassan Raddick to 199. I don't think anything sold out after this, so that might be the next break. Yeah, that's the only thing. So it looks like that's going to be next after this. this is We've got about another, I don't know, half an hour or so to go. I'm going to go in that points pile there. Kevin Coleman to 249. So what you're talking, you're saying when I grab like a stack of cards like this, the last card is usually the hit right back here. Is that what you're saying? I I'll tell you what. There's Josh Oliver to 25. Usually what happens is that there is a slight. Here, I guess we'll let's take a let's see if this happens. Oh, see, I missed that. There's Earl Thomas to 149. No, I, 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 I realized what you were what you were saying. Um, here's what happens. When I grab the cards, usually there's enough. So the autos are backwards, right? So usually when I grab a stack of cards, there's a slight difference between the back of the card and the other side, you know, you know what I mean? So when I grab the stack, I'm usually grabbing it right where the auto is because it's upside down. So it, it just ever so slightly, microscopically is bent the other way, right? So all the cards are the go are facing the same way here, but this is slightly different. So. When I pick it, when I pick them up, I tend to grab the auto, especially in breaks like this. I'll tend to just naturally grab the auto right there. So, like, if um, I guess it would be like playing cards or something like that. There's a slight bend in like a like a poker card. It's Marcel Aitman to one seventy five. Or I'll grab this one because this this is that's different too. So I don't know what what's the Mike Postal situation. I've never heard of this name. Who are we talking about here? There's Travis Fulham to two forty nine. Gary Ann Connolly to 75. 34 at 75. Curtis Samuel to 149. A poker player suspect of cheating on a live stream?
Well, I'm not cheating anybody. The hits are still coming out. But I, I see what you mean. What was he What was he doing? Like, how was he cheating? Out of 179, Travion Williams. And Damian Harris. Oh, and the points were the third. There's Damian Harris, sensational signatures. There's a $30 million lawsuit against him? But like I don't I I I guess I'm not understanding like he was playing he was playing against other people but he was live streaming it. But he was at actual tables. This wasn't like online poker. Oh, he had RFI. RFID card showing on his phone that he had in between his let, and no one noticed that. He had a phone that he's like looking down at his. The tables he plays is live stream. Got it, got it, got it, got it, got it. Yeah, it was a casino live stream. Wow. That's that's pretty that's pretty bold. Yeah, Edward, I just I've just, I'm just learning about this this guy. That's pretty bold. Like he just thought nobody would notice? Oh, if the gaming director was in, I see. Then yeah, then that becomes a thing. Gotcha. Oh, it was just a 1-3 game, so he got away with it over a year. That's not a good look. Listen, a lot of, a lot of scammers out there in the world, you know? But in the end, A, you're never going to make enough before you get caught, most times. You know, so, so why, why do it? There's no, incent there's no incentive there. Except for greed, I guess. Short-term greed. Like, we always joke around about that Brandon Cooks to 99 guy in the hobby, right? Like, what was the... You know, what's the, you know, what, what, what's the <laughs> incentive for, for doing that, that short-term gain? There's Meikle Hardman Jr. to 175. Sure, yeah, he took home $300,000, Doug's saying, but now you're getting sued for $30 million. So what... <laughs> Is Ricky Seals Jones to 199. Edward, you knew you knew uh, Mike Postal in the early days of online poker. What kind of guy is he? The kind of guy that would cheat someone. Sorry, Terrell Suggs. Is Jimmy Graham to 75? And there it is, Jordan Scarlett. See, that happened right there. The last card was a hit. Whoa! We got a Tack McKinley here. Gold vinyl at five. Willie Brock. With the Falcons. One out of five. There you go, Willie. All aboard the Big Hit Express. Whoop, whoop. Eastwood knows a thing or two about scamming. He says that for scam, you just got to get in 
You gotta get out, do it a couple times, and clean your hands. I see. Here's Devontae Parker to 149. Well, I'm with Steve Olsen, though. Just don't scam in the first place. Antonio Brown at 249. Well, I gotta I gotta look that up. I'm a fan of the poker. I'll get a kick out of it. 18 out of 30, Jared Stidham. We got a three-color patch and autograph. The future Tom Brady right here that goes to uh, Mike and the Patriots. Mike Fission. Eighteen out of thirty. Should be one more autograph in here. There's Roquan Smith to one ninety-nine. Frozen two. Did we need a frozen two? I mean, I guess. Disney wants to make money. Dawson Knox for the Buffalo Bills. Buffalo! Joe Kavanaugh, last spot mojo. There's Chris Harris Jr. to 249. Ferguson, Geronimo Allison. All right, two boxes to go. We're almost there. I'm just, I, mean, I can't believe the gaming director was in on it, Matt. Matt G saying, well, the one time... Gaming director supposedly feeding him the RFID cards wasn't at the casino he lost. The gaming director in on it too. What casino was this? Yeah, this would make a good documentary movie. Rounders 2, says Edward. Yeah, Doug thinks it's going to be a good movie. I mean, poker has gotten so big, has been getting big, has gotten big. When Rounders came out, when did Rounders come out? Late 90s, early 2000s? I don't even remember. But when Rounders came out, that was like a, that was like a, ooh, like, that's kind of an edgy, the underbelly of poker kind of thing, ooh. You know, there was, so it was kind of, but now it's just it's everywhere and uh, oh is that stones gambling hall and it was uh but nowadays like everyone's a so-called poker expert there's all the poker on tv all the time you know it's 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 wild all these contests all over the place Poker tournaments are so huge. All right, there's Luke Keekley to ninety nine. Roquan Smith again to 175. And Latavius Murray to 75. Sensational signatures for the Saints. 
That goes to John McCall. 27 out of 75. Just one off the jersey number as usual. I never hit that jersey number. Cam and break to 199. Dexter Lawrence to 249. Matt Breida, 249. A couple more autographs in this box than the last box. To Jay Sharp, 249. Woo! Torino's just destroyed one. That's a two run bomb. Astros are up 4 0. Wow, I heard that off the bat. Kike Kuti to 149. <laughs> what if the home team doesn't win a single game? There's Alec Ogletree to 175 for Sen Yin and the Giants. And Ryan Finley, sensational signatures. Bengals. That'll be for Ricky Buffalo. Derek Barnett to 199. And there's Deontay Thompson safety for the Cardinals. Aaron Pettit with the Cardinals. Eastwood, you're counting on me to get you one of the three spots in the three case break? Don't talk to me, Eastwood. You got to talk to random.org. Got to go to random.org. Ask random.org out on a date. Dinner, flowers. Open doors for random.org. You know, you may not be that kind of guy, Roger, but. You may have to put out on the first date with Rand.org. So, talk to Rand.org on that. That'd be nice, Rand.org. Last box. There's Andrew Luck, 25. Some redemption on top there. It's Bam, 
Tony Pollard, rookie autograph, Prism Red Wave. That goes to the Dallas Cowboys and with the Cowboys. Matthews looks weird in a Rams uniform, by the way. There's Darwin Thompson to 149. Got James Washington to 175. Steve Olsen, you're still waiting on Tony Pollard redemption from three months ago? It's not like Tony Pollard's getting a lot of a lot of a lot of carries in games. You would think that he would have time to sign cards. And Travion Williams, two forty nine. Come on, Tony Pollard. Sign your cards. There's Dylan Mitchell, five out of five. Gold vinyl autograph. Ooh. Oh, the Cunningham, Mike Cunningham. With the Minnesota Vikings. Skull. Nice. Mike. All aboard the Big Hit Express. Woo -woo. Got Harrison Smith, 75. Mark Madsen said he got a he got a box at his LCS and he got a live Tony Pollard autograph in there. So maybe he did like half the cards and not the other half. Roquan Smith to 149. Oh, Rick thinking maybe Redemption is going to be an all-card auto. There's Trace McSorley to 199. Jerome Bettis. Josh Doxon to 249. Mahomes, Patrick Mahomes, Anthony Johnson, 66 out of 99. And we've got Josh Jacobs, the very last hit for EA. Who has my Raiders? Nice Josh Jacobs refractor autograph. Toppler is not worthy enough for Josh Jacobs. It's all messed up on the side. There you go. A top loader worthy of Josh Jacobs. Nice one. There you have it, ladies and gentlemen. A nice break. Started strong, ended strong. Some good stuff in the middle. Let's give away the points. Let's give away some money. And then we'll do a quick recap at the end right here, too. Winner take all on the points. So let's flip back to the list here. First of all, everyone has a shot at the points from Aaron down to Keith. And if you bought at least two teams, you'll get one entry in our break credit promo, 100 bucks. So let's alphabetize your names here. So Aaron Pettit got two, get one entry, and you have three only two count. You still get an entry for the break credit, though. So does EA. Jared. John. Michael Gallucci. Mike F. T. 
TJ Leonard, you got four, so you get two entries. All right, there you go. So, one in nine spots, one spot in nine is going to get $100 of break credit. That's pretty, that's excellent odds right there. Let's roll it and randomize it three and a two, five times. Name on top gets all the points. One, two, three, four, and five. Sen Yin, congrats to you. Nice break for you. There's Sen Yin right there with all the points. Three and two, five times for the money. One, two, three, four. Good luck. Five. John McCall. There you go, John. I don't know if I called your name out too often in the break itself, but 100 bucks a break credit going your way. Recap. Quick recap right here. Nice Josh Jacobs, Dylan Mitchell, gold vinyl at a five. There's Jarrett Stidham to 30. Another gold vinyl right here. Some sensational signatures. Got Austin Hooper right there in the middle. That was pretty cool. Leighton Vander Esch. Another gold vinyl to five. A oh, one of one, Jason Pierre Paul. Thanks to uh, John G, I think, who had the sharp eye to make me go back and look for that one. Got it. Found it. David Montgomery, J.J. Arthigo Whiteside. Gold vinyl on that one, too. That was pretty cool. And we started the break strong, too. Wait for it. Nice Foster Moreau. Wait for it. Kyler Murray. So these three autographs are from the first box. Kyler Murray and Daniel Jones. We've got Kelvin Harmon right here, too. Not too shabby at all. That was Pick Your Team 3 from jazbeescasebreaks.com. We've got full case Pick Your Teams in the store. We have half case random teams in the store. Check it out, and we'll see you next time for the next break. jazbeescasebreaks.com. This is Joe. I'm out.